let's start with just some background on active military members and veterans both show elevated risk for problem gambling. Can you tell us a little bit about that and maybe why that's the case? As multiple forms of gambling are easily accessible, it can lead to problems with gambling and there are it's there's a lot of access for people in the military one on the base themselves or downtime people do play card games and so forth on overseas bases there are machines um, and other forms of gambling um, certainly even in the desert there's gambling going on so so it is something that to do that most of the guys that I work with guys and gals that I work with say that that's sort of just part of the culture um, and cause it's easily accessible. I think it's critical, but I, I think more important than that is the ability to connect. So, you know, as I, as I fell into my addiction and struggled with my addiction through active duty and into my veteran years, um, one of the biggest things I can remember thinking is nobody could ever possibly understand what I'm going through. Um, you know, because it was such a, and I always use this term, it was such a Jekyll and Hyde life that I lived. I had this, this neat, clean living you know, go to the, go to work, do all those things. And then right next to it was this obsessive desire to gamble. And how could anybody ever possibly understand that? So just the ability to sit in front of somebody and have them, you know, ease me into that conversation, you know, and, and Dr. Chapman talked about stages of, of change and readiness. And, and that's exactly right, because all I wanted to hear was that somebody got it. Somebody could possibly understand where I was. And then I would have let go at that point. And I did. When I finally did discover that, I let go. Now, the value and lived experience in that is we've been there and done it. So we, you know, I, as somebody who's gone through this, I can look at somebody who's struggling with gambling and I may not know exactly where they are, but a lot of what they're expressing in terms of their feelings, I can understand it 